Moo Moo Mask. Today we are going to look at how to rush, how to uh, simplify complex fractions. So we've got a fraction on top of another fraction and we're going to learn how to simplify these. Okay, it looks kind of fancy. I call this the double double decker where you have a fraction over a fraction and that's a double decker. So we're going to start and look at three different problems. Okay, we're going to start without variables and then throw some variables in there to make the double deckers a little more difficult. Okay, the first thing you want to do is isolate each part of the fraction. So I'm going to look at the top of the fraction and see if I can simplify this part at all. And I can. I'm going to make that into 12 over 11. Okay, then I'm going to take this bottom part of the fraction and I'm going to move it because we have a top and it's divided by the bottom. So I'm actually going to write over here a division symbol and move this fraction over. So I'm going to put divided by the 5 twelfths. So there we go. So we've got 11 twelfths divided by 5 twelfths. Now when we are now dividing fractions and it's a little easier to look at instead of writing as a double stack as a long. So we're going from a hamburger to a hot dog. So a t double stack to a long and thin. Okay, now we're going to change this from multiplication, I'm sorry, from division to multiplication. So to do that, I use the rule, keep it, change it, and flip it. So we're going to keep our first fraction as 12 over 11. We're going to change our sign from division to multiplication and we're going to change the fraction 5 twelfths. So we're going to take its reciprocal or flip it to 12 over 5. And now we just multiply. And to multiply fractions, you multiply straight across. So we're going to take 12 times 12, which is 144, over 11 times 5, which is 55. So our answer is 144 over 55. And that looks much easier than this double stack over here. So now let's look at a second one. Okay, the second one has two separate fractions on top. So really we're dealing with three, three fractions here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look just at the top of the fraction and I'm going to simplify that. So let's try to simplify this top fraction ignoring the one half on the bottom. Okay, to simplify and add two fractions, I have to have a common denominator. So I need 12 to be my common denominator because both 4 and 3 are divisible or are, are factors of 12. So I'm going to multiply my first fraction by 3 and that gives me 9 twelfths and I'm going to multiply my second fraction by 4 and that's going to give me 8 twelfths. Now let's simplify that and that's going to give me 17 twelfths. So I've now simplified the top of my fraction but I still have the whole thing as a double stack all over one half. Now remember, I can rewrite this as from a hamburger, a double stack, to a hot dog along and skinny. So now I'm going to bring that down as 17 twelfths divided by one half. Now I'm going to use my keep it, change it, and flip it rules. So I'm going to keep my first fraction as 17 twelfths. I'm going to change my division to multiplication and I'm going to flip or take the reciprocal of one half and change it to 2 over 1. Now I can multiply across. Now when you multiply across you can actually reduce it. So this one reduces. So I've, I see that 12 and 2 both have a factor of 2. So I'm going to take a 2 out of this. So this is 2 times 6 and that's just 2 times 1. So I'm going to factor out the 2's and I'm left with a 6 in the denominator. So I have 17 times 1, which is 17, and 6 times 1, which is 6. So my final answer is 17, 6. So let's go back and look at the whole thing. We went from 4 thirds plus 2 thirds, I'm sorry, 3 fourths plus 2 thirds all over 1 half, all the way down, and that simplifies to 17, 6, which is much, much simpler. Okay, let's look at one more of these, but this time we're going to look at it 
with some variables in there. Okay, so this is kind of like the second one. What we've got to do is we've got to add these to the top together before we even deal with the bottom. So let's get a common denominator. And for 2 and x, our common denominator is 2x. So what I have to do is I have to multiply the first term by another x to get a 2x. And x times x gives me x squared. So x, and then over here I've got to multiply these by 2. So that's times 2 is 2. 2 times x is 2x. And then I'm going to add those together. So now what do I have? Let's see. On top, I have an x squared plus 2 all over 2x. Now remember, I can bring my denominator all the way over. I don't have to do much with it right now. It's just x squared plus 2x. Okay, now I've got the double stack. So I'm instead of the double stack, I'm going to write it as a long fraction. And I'm going to, or a long division problem, x squared plus 2x plus 2 all over 2x. That's the top of my fraction, divided by um, an x squared plus 2x. Okay, now I'm going to use the keep it, change it, flip it rules, even though we have variables. So I keep the first term. I change this to multiplication, and then I flip the second one. Well, anytime you have, you don't have a fraction, stick a one under it. Now I'm going to flip it, and I'm going to have x squared plus 2x on the bottom. Okay, now I can multiply across. So x squared plus 2 times 1 is just x squared plus 2. And on the bottom, I have a 2x times this binomial, x squared plus 2x. So I have 2x times x squared plus 2x. Now, I like to keep this factor just to see if I can cancel anything out. And a binomial has to match exactly with another binomial. So notice this is x squared plus 2. And this is x squared plus 2x, so those can't cancel because the 2s don't match up. This one has just a 2 and this is a 2x. There's no coefficient that I factored out of the top. So that's actually my final answer. So this fraction up here simplified all the way down to x squared plus 2, plus 2 all over 2x times x squared plus 2x. So hope this video was helpful on how to simplify some complex fractions.